Hey guys, so update here. I missed the stream. I'll probably watch it later just for amusement. But um, I thought we wouldn't get much this week. The bar was set pretty low at the Caltheon Ball with Boss J kind of saying we would just get optimization stuff and Odalita would get delayed. And, and that was kind of what we were looking at for the end of the year. But uh, surprise, surprise, we got Seasons here, which is basically it, and some nice little Christmas events. Oh, no, Adelita, that's still delayed. I'll do a uh, my guesstimate on a roadmap for next year. There's no official one, but I'll put my own one out there as for how the content I think will shake out. Um, just my guess, but you know, stay tuned for that. Maybe be next week or a few days or so. But uh, we got seasons, which means you might need new characters a lot. They're half off on the Pearl Shop, or you can get it for 10,000 loyalty, so I'll check that out first. Uh, we lose our favorite Rupa Lee server. I'm going to cruise through this pretty quick because it's mostly seasons here and a whale update. So with the Tuvala stuff, um, a new mechanic on how to convert it. I'll make a se separate like one-minute video on this in a few days once I get there. I'll probably make a quiz here this time around. You just have to talk to Fugar. It looks like you can do it on the fly now. Nothing else with the season stuff changed. I'm going to try and keep this video pretty quick for you guys. Uh, Fogan's my still my go-to spot. I, I hide in the back in the mountains there. There's no, no one ever there early in the morning when I grind. Uh, Cadres and Sulfur is pretty crowded. Um, I don't think the season pass is still worth it, but I'll check it out as I make a season character. I think the only thing we really see is like snowflakes from autumn leaves. Um, this stuff's still around. I think I still have these to turn out from, from last time around. If we ever get Vel, I, I think PC has Vel along with Garmus Hot in the mix, but we'll take a look at that. I don't think anything in here has changed in terms of like new stuff in the mix for the snowflakes. Enhancing, you guys have done it. Enhancing's pretty easy on, on seasons, so I'm going to skim through this stuff. The frozen high black stones, I've still never gotten one from those little goblins, so I don't know if they still actually spawn them, but uh, pen enhancing and Duval enhancing is pretty easy all around now. So Ataraxian, I haven't gotten the regular one, but for those of you guys who like it um, or have gone to it, you know, I've heard it's, it's pretty decent actually um, with the changes they've made, but uh, there's some season rewards as there I'm skimming through. Um, if you get a Soil Ogre Ring, I would save it because we still haven't gotten Deeb's Journal, which gives you one AP, and the Oil o Ogre Ring is annoying to get. I did grind for two hours and never got one during one of those job events. So I've got a few now um, since then. But anyway, um, if you go to I got, I've run Bandits or like the Back of Naga, as you'll see these guys. It's a little like mini event that pops up while you're grinding in Season Servers. They drop, they don't drop any normal trash loot, they just drop a ton of Tuvala mats. Um, which is pretty good. So if you start out there grinding, it gives you like a boost um, into your season enhancing. So other than that, um, none of this stuff changed. I'm skimming through it. Uh, there might be some like season gifts here. I don't, that might be new, but not too sure. These quests and these different areas you see as you go in there, like I think it's just like a duo, like a duo jewelry thing will pop up or you get like a hundred time of black stones. And if you kill like, 10 like 100 mobs or something uh, i don't think any of that's changed so this is from the whales change which is good and i hope they do something similar to this with like imperial fishing and hotspot fishing and frankly there should just be like a guy who's like the inflation fixer at bdo so like any content left over from like 2016 like hey like the trade crate's still the same like let's add like you know 50 percent to them to make them relevant again um so so, so they're doing this was an event we kind of had and it looks like they're bringing it into the normal normal game which is pretty good so you're gonna get like more gold a uh, chance in a merchant ring piece more web mail we and tendons and you used to get and some bmcs and black gems and stuff i think uh and cafferas out of the whales so the whales are now worth more to kind of have fun at a party for those of you guys who like to hunt and to kind of just relax and do something other than grinding for a little bit um so pretty good the gold bars for buffs so this is the priest buffs um and what happened is they changed it so that way it's no longer I don't know why they made it three golds instead of five golds, but um, they might just also made it one gold, in my opinion, if they're gonna change it. So it used, it used to be RNG based, and now you'd always get the maximum. So people who like min max, and I think it was probably for like the accuracy, like people um, and the HP, maybe you would kind of like not get as good as a buff as somebody else got just that rng unless you looked i think most people didn't realize it so now everybody gets the maximum and it's cheaper for some reason um the maximum of residence you can buy so before, i didn't realize it was eight i thought it was like three or something but um that's just my opinion it looks like they buffed that i don't think anything else has changed in terms of some of this other stuff the aggress i thought this was in the last time around but it's not as we got the little valencia buff but uh 
So, so at the Ackman and Hysteria guys to make it more relevant, they had the Agris drops. So in comparison, it was 40, now it's 20. Um, Sulfur is like 12, I think, and Kadri's might be 6 or 5, and Fogans is 3. Just for his comparison there, Fogans is still the go-to spot, in my opinion. Uh, Kratuga, like if you got the castle, it's now worth like better to grind there. Um, maybe. Uh, just my take on it. So... The memory optimization stuff, you know, I, I think they still have a ways to go. PlayStation's been like utter garbage with crashing, in, in my opinion. Um, that's basically it on the update. So, Season, Whales, Pearl Shop. Uh, the only thing in here really that I would toss to you guys is a lot of inventory stuff on here, but Black Spirits Pass, unless you're new, I, I don't think it's really worth it. Um, we got the Old Moon pack on like for 22 pearls, which is pretty good. Um, maybe like a mountain change thing. If you got a Dream Horse, you might need one. And I don't know what the black skill scroll set is, but you know I'll check that out and see what it is then. Uh, the character expansion I did buy this because my ten thousand loyalty one was already bought last season. And other than that, like you might see some of this, like the hundred inventory pack it might be worth it if they ever make fishing relevant again for you guys. But you know that's all. That's all. I think it's the only thing I noticed in there that was worth it. We got some nice Christmas events, luxury box per day um so definitely check this out i'll probably open all mine around on like new year's or something when does this run so uh for like three, like three luxury boxes and then you get these snowflakes that can be exchanged for like accessories and black stones and mem frags so if you got scrolls i would sell them now um because they're at like 1.7 million or something and people are gonna get tons of mem frags in a few days uh, and you, uh, as well as this like Santa outfit, which is pretty cool. Um, the Santa outfit can give you from Patrico, it looks like, or maybe just buy it. You got some like boss furniture, Cafras, name transfer coupon. So Patrico, so you got some good stuff. The snowflakes, you just log in per day. The new dice game can give you some cool stuff as you complete it. And then they got like a sweater you can buy for a million. That's gonna give you like an hour of buffs, which is pretty good. I would hope maybe use this on like your season character. Or if you're gathering or grinding and like, you know, that 10% drop rate kind of replaces uh, the camera buff or on top of it. The Rift, we've seen this in the past that they give us uh, boss gear. And the Ginseng, and this is something like I think we might do with the, the whale thing. So with the whale thing, we kind of had an event and they became permanent. Here we got Ginseng that basically turns into Kafiras when you turn them in, uh, which is pretty good. So they have to make gathering more relevant because frankly, you could just grind Fogans for like two hours a day and make 400 mil rather than gather. Um, so that's just me um but hey so if you're gathering you get cavernous uh no love to fishing i don't know why they hate on fishing but anyway happy holidays guys that wraps this one up um i'll be making a guide like a guesstimate on terms of a roadmap for the year until they put out an official one just for you know for the heck of it and uh happy holidays and i'll see you out on probably season three out at fogans in a week or so on my my cor new corsair maybe um, last time around, I made a ranger and a tamer that I'm terrible at both. So we'll see what Corsair goes.